guys, welcome to the Kayla channel. Today here I have my amazing friend Wesley here with me. What's up everybody? I want to let you guys know that I went to the strip club for the first time. One of my homegirls was celebrating her birthday, her 25th birthday, and I had the chance to, you know, turn up with her. It was so fun. It was like kind of like weird because I didn't know what to expect with all that, you know, movements and stuff going on. Like I really didn't know like what to expect. I've been to the strip club a couple of times, so it's not a surprise to me. I'm actually comfortable in the strip club. They have food, they have good dances, and they have good music. Did you guys turn up? Yes, I turned up, so I just have to go. We did. Us, our generation, like we really need to be able to support each other. If someone is having something, you know, just take a few hours and just go to it. It really doesn't hurt. All the time, you know, the number one rule with me and my friends is that we hold each other down. I always have all of my friends' facts, hands down, no matter what. If you can ask anybody that knows me, uh -huh. I hold you down. I can finally cross that off my bucket list. I was super excited. It was really fun. I said we went to college together. Um, yeah, that was like, what, yeah. 2010? Oh my God. Or, I know, I started in 2009. Oh, so when did you start? 2010. Oh, see. Just 18. Now we're going to 24, 25. Yeah. It was like, it was really... Like, Almost 10 years, when you think about it. Mm -hmm. I started in 2009. We're in 2017. That's life will be what you right now. Oh, I've had the, the same expectation like everybody else. You was going to get a degree and I thought I was going to get this spectacular job <laughs> and come out here in the streets and making all this money, but life was not like that at all. Okay, so why don't you just tell us a little bit like what, because I know when we was in college, you was in a criminal justice system. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Like, what, because I know when we was in college, you was in a criminal justice system. Yeah. And now you are licensed from the college. Yeah, life is yeah. totally changed and flipped around for me. Like she said, I was in school for criminal investigation, and then from there, I got a call, and I got my own apartment. So imagine you being in college, and you get a call for your own apartment. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay eight hours away in school, or are you going to come back home and move into your own house and start your own life? Yeah, I would definitely take the chance. And you got to live in the city, because yeah. our college was like the village, right? Exactly. No, it was yeah. worse than the village. <laughs> it was, you don't even want to know. Kind of have everything like plan out. So this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. How did you do it? Like, how was your? Process? Oh well, my process was a little bit different than everybody else's. I would say because I left college like midway after my third year. I was getting my bachelor's degree and then in criminal investigation. And then I got a call from to get my own apartment from housing. So I was just up and left school and went back home and went to the real world. But I thought I had my associate, so I thought I was gonna be able to get a good job, be able to pay my bills, and still go back to school and do everything like that, but things didn't just work out as easy as I planned. People can relate to what you just said, that you've been going through a lot of obstacles. So how were you able to overcome it? Like how, did, how were you being able to still do it up to now? Well, when I first left school, when I first got out of college, I got a regular basic job like everybody else. I thought I was going to be able to get like a corporate job or be like successful and make $50,000 and stuff like that, but it just never happened like that for me. I worked for Crumbs, if anybody knows, they make like the Johnny Cupcakes. Yeah, I worked for there for like almost, almost a year, for like probably eight months to a year. That was horrible, horrible. <laughs> Nobody wants to work for crumbs. I just, especially if you come out of school and you have a degree, you just don't want to work for crumbs. You don't want to work for the minimum wage. But you have to settle for what's out there because you want a job and you want money and you kind of grown, so your parents are not going to give you that. So I started off there. Then I went to the YMCA. I worked there for two years. I was striving. I thought I was going to be more than what they was offering me. So then I just had to leave that alone. And I went into what's what's always been there, what's, I always had a talent in, something that I always made money in, which was hair. So I went, my good friend, she went and got her cosmetology license. She went to the school so she convinced me to go to school because I didn't want to go to school. I didn't want her to go to school and then me go to school and then me not go to school and then 
kind of you know take off, and yeah. we kind of have the same passion and do the same thing. Okay. So that's why I just went to school and I got my license, and that led me to where I'm at now. Okay, that's a beautiful story, and you know, and I know that's what life after college is all about: different struggles, obstacles that you have to cross to get to you know where you want to be. So now you've been able to overcome all of the obstacles. Can you let us know what you're doing now? Well, now I work in a salon. Um, drive, I work for Dry Bar. I work in the location in Bloomingdale in Soho. And besides that, I do fashion shows. I freelance. I do fashion shows, um, photo shoots, private occasions, weddings, things like that. The last big job I had, I did the Kanye West Easy Season 4 fashion show. So that was dope and like a really great experience. Um, I model too on the side. I used to have a contract with D1 Model Management, so that was really exciting and new and introverted. But it's still kind of the same thing that I'm into, so it just goes like hand in hand, modeling hand. So I just love it. So you're basically just li living your dreams. Yeah, I'm doing exactly what I want to do. You know, I feel like you're 25. I don't have any kids. You don't have any like responsibilities like that. So you're gonna live out your dream. Do exactly what makes me happy because I take care of myself. So you want to be self-sufficient and you want to do what makes you happy. That's the bottom line. Please, you know, don't forget to click the subscription down below and you know just um, let me know what you your opinions. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in to Life After College. Peace. Bye.